Anuat Kemsenri on the apron. And as all Muay Thai fighters do, he will go over the top ropes. He may fly over the top <laughs> ropes, Hammer, the berobed, the be caped one. Well, let's not forget that Anuat's been named Thailand's Boxer of the Year. And let's have a look how they stack up here. Five years the older is Anuat. He is shorter by four centimetres. He weighed in at 61.3. Of course, Harrison was overweight at 63 kilos. The experience advantage going the way of Anuat. It seems that all the odds are certainly stacked in the favour of Anuat. But Liam, the hitman Harrison, has been known to pull off some great upsets. Let's go across for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen... Rizak Productions presents five rounds of boxing in the lightweight division. This fight is sanctioned by the World Muay Thai Council. The judges at ringside from the USA, Gary Finnerty, Paolo Tocha, and from Thailand, Pongsan Ekutin. And the third man in the ring, your referee from Thailand, Tanong Pompanit. Introducing in the blue corner, he weighed in at 63 kilograms. His professional record, 54 wins, 6 losses, 2 draws, 35 wins by knockouts. Fighting out of Leeds, England, please welcome Liam the Hitman Harrison. And introducing in the red corner, he weighed in at 61.3 kilograms. His professional record, 70 wins, 23 losses, 4 draws, 50 wins by knockouts. Fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand, please welcome Anuat. So, a good ovation here for both Anuat and Liam Harrison. And we are ready for this world's title fight that only one man can actually win the world title. Harrison, as we said, coming in overweight, he will not be eligible to win the strap should he even win the bout here tonight. But if Anuat does win, he will take the strap back to Thailand as they do the traditional Wai Crew Ram Moy, the pre-fight ritual of the Muay Thai fighter. Still to come on tonight's great card, Yodson Clive Fantex, the winner of the Contender Series 1, takes on the towering Brazilian Cosmo Alexander. Women's World Title Fight, Julie Kitchen from the UK, takes on Australia and the USA's own Angela Rivera Parr. Marco PK takes on the Scotsman Sean Wright and the Battle of the Big Boys. Former K1 European champion Paul Slewinski from South Australia takes on the monstrous Frenchman Patrice Quarteron. There is no way that one will go the five around distance. A lot of people saying also that this fight here between Anuat and Leon Harrison Hammer may not go the distance. As you said, both men know how to box and they don't call Anuat the iron hands for no reason. Well, of course, uh, I always stated earlier that Anuat been named uh, Thailand's Boxer of the Year twice, not once, but twice. And that is a big accolade to have for, uh, for any Thai boxer. He's got great... Uh, Great power to weight ratio, like he's only light, obviously, but the power he generates is, uh, is that of a fighter much above uh, the weight that he's fighting in. And uh, he's just a tough walk-up fighter that will be in your face. His real strength, is he, does, he doesn't give his opponents time to recover or rest. He just keeps that pressure right up there the whole time. So, uh, anyway, you know what? Look, on paper, he's the, he's the red-hot favourite, but Liam Harrison has been uh, tie boxing for, uh, for a long time. He's, uh, I think... Uh, uh, what, what was the age that uh, we 13 saw? Years old, 13 started years old, boxing professionally in the UK. And uh, you know, anyone that comes from the UK, they've got to be tough. And Liam Harrison really personifies that. He uh, recently uh, fought uh, Sanchai, uh, of course, in the UK on uh, one of Danny Green's promotions over there. And uh, did quite well against uh, another living legend of Muay Thai, Sanchai. So Liam Harrison. Uh, no stranger to fighting the big names, but sometimes has a tendency to give them perhaps a little too much respect and uh, stand back and let them tee off. He needs to keep the pressure right up on Anuwat and uh, not give him uh, any time to settle. So this is certainly going to be an interesting one, one that's been looked forward to with much anticipation both in Thailand and the UK. Anuwat and Liam Harrison. Anuwat 
As I said earlier on, Anuad, a Lumpinia Rajamoon Stadium champion, has won title belts under various sanctioning bodies, but of course the WMC strap is the one that he genuinely wants the most. It is, is the most coveted of all the sanctioning body straps. We are joined ringside by another special guest. He is the, well, best known as the mentor on the Contender Asia Series 1. He is also the vice president of the WMC Worldwide. He is the man behind... All the great fights we commentate around the world, great events here in Jamaica and the Contender Series and in Thailand, the King's Cup and everything else. Stefan Fox, it is great to have you here in Jamaica ringside with us. And this is one we're looking forward to. Before we get into it, your thoughts, first of all, on Corbett versus Spong earlier. Michael Hammer, good to see you, boys. It's great. You're doing a great job tonight. It's an exciting fight we had so far. A bit of a controversy with Nathan's fight. This one is also a bit of... Uh, the side eye is Liam Harrison was overweight a little, so if he wins the belt tonight, it's not going to be his belt. It's yeah. going to be Anuwat's belt uh, as he was out for one kilo. But it's going to be a great fight. Both boys. Foxy, we'll actually fight. come back to you and ask you about Nathan Corbett and Tyron in a moment as we're just about to get underway in centering between Anuwat and Liam Harrison. We are set for five by three. Knees and elbows, all the good stuff under full Muay Thai rule, sanctioned by really the only Muay Thai sanctioned body that matters, the WMC. As Anuat just bows in his corner and they remove the Moncon from the head of Liam Harrison. It is the UK versus Thailand. It is yet another blockbuster. It would be a main event anywhere else in the world. It is mid-card here in Jamaica. That's how stacked we are here in Montego Bay. Michael Chavello, Mark the Hammer, Castanini, Stefan Fox with your inside. Anuat in the black, gold and red. And the beautiful pink trunks of Liam Harrison. Not something you would have adorned yourself with in your fighting career, Hammer? Uh, not really. I, I can't say I was confident enough to wear pink into the ring. You weren't really a pastels <laughs> man. <laughs> Anuad just thrusts out the jab. Stefan, who do you like for this one? I think that's a 50-50. Liam Harris is a strong fighter. He's got good punches. He had some big wins. He lost against Senchai in his last title fight. So Anuad uh, coming back with a big win. Uh, so I think that's a 50-50. Just a filling our process here in the first round. 45 seconds down. We're set for three-minute rounds, five of them, and they'll see what each other has to offer as Anuat just goes a left-hand outside leg kick. Well, Stefan just faking with the right hand. I was going to say, Stefan, this card really, any, any one of these fights on this card tonight would be well worthy of a main event in the show anywhere around the, anywhere around the world. There is no doubt this is the biggest fight card we ever done. There is so many big names here on the card and so many big names still to come tonight. Yeah. I mean, it's an amazing event. It's a charity event. And we are happy to be involved in this great night. And of course, a lot of the uh, Thai dignitaries that uh, don't often travel to shows outside of Thailand have made the journey, the long journey from Thailand to be present here, which is uh, sensational also. It's the first time we got the private council of the uh, King of Thailand here. We got the president and the general secretary of the WMC here. It's the first time we travel all together to such an event to show our support to a good cause. One minute 20 remaining here in the first round. High left round kick from Liam Harrison and Anuak goes downstairs and tries to crack away that lead quadricep area. Ooh, oh, nice crossing nice. elbow from Liam off the right arm. And Stefan, uh, Liam uh, has been fighting for many years. Someone uh, you've told me a lot about and he's a, he's a very strong boy. The UK are very much a hotbed for Muay Thai as well, a very strong uh, country of, of Thai boxing. What other, what other countries uh, around the UK uh, stand out in your mind? Obviously, uh, the Belarusians. I mean, Liam is definitely one of the best in Europe. There's no question about it. He's going to have problem holding this weight. So he's going to step up to fight the ones like Kuplin we've seen tonight. Nice takedown. The ones like Kuplin. That's going to be a different game for him because he always was in this division 61 kg and stepping up for the boys 63 coming down from 67. So he's going to go against some hard hitting boys and that's going to be a real test for him. Final stages here of the first round. It has been just a dipping of the toes in the water, so to speak, as both men have tested each other out and seen what the strengths and weaknesses are. Anuat just skips forward, snakes out the jab. Final 10 seconds as that beautiful lady slams the canvas hard again. I'm surprised she hasn't broken her right hand here tonight. <laughs> oh, crossing elbow. Almost sculpted him with that one, Liam Harrison. End of the round. We go to the towels. Stefan. It's an even round. Both boys didn't really land any devastating shots, so I give it even. But they're going to step it up in round two, round three, and that's when they really open up. What was your weight division, Stefan, when you were fighting? I was 57, you know. I put a little bit of weight on since then. <laughs> <laughs> a little, little, little bit. Not so much. 
Still looking good, still looking good out there, but oh, you know. Very much so, and don't forget, folks, Stefan will be appearing again as the mentor in Season 2 of the Contender Asia, as we announced earlier on. The coaches, Ray Seffel, who joined us earlier, and new world champion Clifton Brown defeating Calclo earlier on. Going to be a huge season, Season 2, Stefan. And uh, I'm not giving away any of the fighters in there, but it is going to be absolutely stacked and crazy in that household. It's going to be much bigger than Season 1. we got, really, some of the biggest names in the sport. The difference is that there was a qualification round for the boys to come into season two so we did not hand pick them they really had to qualify we got probably two of the best characters in the sport in their race for he's in a league on his own he's a great character a nice gentleman and clifton brown a bit of a professor in the sport he knows how to put things together we're gonna have some fun in the house and our professor here ringside the hammer that's something you've never been called before, Hannah. <laughs> Those degrees long, hanging uh, off the wall. Uh, long way off being a professor. <laughs> First round, just a real filling out process there, though, Hammer. It was. Uh, I, I'll uh, agree with Stefan in a pretty much an even round. Although, uh, Anya what with the, the takedown nicely executed, may uh, with the Thai, uh, the Thai judges may uh, look at that favourably. But... Uh, on paper, anyway, it was an even first round. Count in the corner there of Anuad helping out as they rub him down, and both men are ready to go for the second round of five, all part of Champions of Champions 2 here in Monte, Jamaica, where we have had a fantastic week staying at the beautiful Ibero Star Resort. If you're booking a trip to Jamaica, make sure you book at Ibero Star. Stay in the Grand Hotel Rose Hall. You will absolutely Come. love it. Here we go, second round of action. <laughs> Oh, nice outside leg up. kick from Underwood. You can already see some redness on the lead mm. thigh just beneath the hemline of the pink shorts of Liam Harrison where that lead leg has been tenderised. Already Underwood looks like he's out for business now. The filling out process is well and truly over for him, I believe. He's going to start to open up the throttle a bit now and let it go. He's going to try to chop that front leg. He knows it. He wants to chop that leg down. He wants to slow Liam down so he doesn't move quick forward anymore. That's his tactic, I think, because he's a bit wary of, of Liam's hand, so it's a good tactic. Stefan, I don't think I've ever recalled a Western fighter having fought Sanchai and Anuat, both regarded as the two best pound-for-pound -pound Muay Thai fighters in Thailand in back-to-back -back world title fights. Yes, uh, Liam definitely is out there. As I said, he's one of the biggest names in Europe. He has been training in, uh, in Thailand for many years. He's coming from a great English gym, Bad Boys. The company gym is a fantastic gym. Uh, Richard Smith is trainer. He's got experience. He's got the skills. Tonight, it's another test. But as I said, he must now watch his weight. He must go up and he's going to fight a bigger boys and no challenge is going to come big hand there nice left hook there from Anua. really let in with it on that occasion hammer yeah certainly uh liam will get more confident when he lands those big shots he's very much a, a confidence fighter and my, my thought on him is when he fights the ties sometimes he gives them a little bit too uh, too much respect he may doubt himself a little against the caliber of of uh, Anuad and sunshine and there's no reason to because he possesses some great skills he's a well-rounded fighter he puts it together well i think he's it's just maybe a little bit of a confidence thing when he's uh he has the challenge ahead of him with with the big names but uh you know, two arms, two legs, they're in there just like you and you've, uh, you've got an even chance when you step in if you've done the hard work at the gym. One minute ten remaining here in the second round, set for five as Anuat tries to force Liam back against the ropes, just consistently sticking that jab on the nose of the British fighter. Fakes with the right hand, then follows through, goes to that outside lead leg again that is really banged up now on Liam Harrison. And once more, oh, nice hand. Oh, puke it out oh, in he can take a punch too, Liam. That's a good thing. Anuat trying to knock the die out of his hair as Liam lands a right hand, takes another outside thigh kick. Those are really going to slow him down and take the toll. The longer the fight goes on, Hammer is either going to switch stance to protect the leg later or is going to start checking those kicks. Well, he's getting, he's getting frustrated now because he's getting repeatedly caught with that jab. Yes. So he's starting, he's starting to just get phased a bit because of his lack of defense on the jab and that may throw the rest of his game plan out. Still watch that nice curling overhand right oh, under one nice as well. Combo. Oh, he oh, tags him there. nicely. That was a nice combo he threw just before he uh, met the canvas there, Liam, though. Quick rapid fire hands, backed up by a leg, beautifully done. I mean, the difference you can see in a match like this is like you you see the match before, Eugene and Ryan Simpson, they've done a lot yep. of grappling. These boys, they are boxers, they stay away from the grappling, they want to oh. use their hands. And let an yeah. elbow fly right Almost on the bell. caught him on the bell. Anuat pumps his hands into the air. Second round down. Hammer, your call on that one. I'll give that round to uh, Anuat. Yes, I, I agree with you, Hammer. That was Anuwa's round. Okay. Um, he's going to open up in round three. 
You can sense him getting stronger, Foxy. He's going to get stronger, and Liam is losing a little bit of his confidence there in the punching department, which is normally a strong department. But he is definitely fighting uh, the Iron Fist, we say, from, from Thailand. Anuwat got strong hands, and Liam has to be wary of them. Let's take a look at the action as it went down again in that second round. We are giving it to Anuwat 10-9. Beautiful left hook outside thigh kick combination there from the Iron Hands of Siam. Hammer? Well, he's just so complete. He's... he's very well rounded and you know what he hasn't even opened up with the clinching and the knees and the elbows yet basically just boxing showcasing his jab nice quick jab and that was a beautiful combination from liam he backed it up nicely but uh, and you know what made him pay almost uh with contempt after liam uh, had a bit of a flurry got to be confident and you know what uh, made him pay for it so uh but what a, what a great match up again you told me cargo pants were banned in Jamaica, Hammer. <laughs> and what's quarters wearing cargo pants? I could have bought my cargos after all. Uh, that might be why we got the police wings. <laughs> uh, and it's got to be Amir from such a lot of gym, too. He'll blatantly flaunt the, flaunt the law wherever he goes, that man. <laughs> devastated. Devastated when he told me. Stefan Fox, fantastic night. And I've got to say, it's, it's beautiful being here in an open-air arena with the beach only 30 metres behind us. We can literally just walk onto the beach and into the water here if we wanted to. I think after the hard work from the last three days, we're just going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> Hell yeah. We are sweating up a storm here, but there's a nice breeze blowing in from behind us as well. As we're about to get underway in the third round, we have Anuet now slightly ahead after two. The first round may have been even. Anuet taking the second 10-9. Here we go on the third of five. Harrison looking for the liver. Anuat again going after that lead leg. You can see the massive welts now. The lead fire of Liam Harrison looks like it's been barbecued, completely red. Oh, and nice. again oh. just cracks down on it. You Stefan, know, what toll does that take on the leg of Liam Harrison? How is that leg feeling now? He can't even toll. stand on it. There's I the, think you see, you just said it. That is the toll just been paid. Oh. Right about now, his leg's it's over. Yeah. It is He's over. Gone. That leg is Please. gone. Anuat has chopped the tree down from the trunk, Hammer. <laughs> well, Liam Harrison wants to fight on one leg, but that ain't uh, really going to happen. <laughs> no, that leg the, is gone. The, blo the blood's see. just flowing in that muscle now. It's cramping up. It's spasming. And, uh, you know, as much as uh, Liam wants the... Uh, the fight to go on and has the intent to keep fighting uh, he's just not going to have any mobility at all and he's going to be subject to all sorts of punishment yep. from Anuwa from all sorts of angles so uh, he's out the adrenaline is pumping we understand he wants to fight on but that fight is over for tonight tomorrow is another day wow. that lead leg of yep. Liam Harrison taking more hits than Google he cannot even walk on his own here but he is a brave warrior yes, you have to give credit to him oh, a great yeah. fight Anuat has done it. He has won the world title at 61 and a half kilos. The WMC strap is going to be placed around the waist to the iron hands of Siam Anuat. It was an absolute pleasure watching him in centering here tonight. And to think still to come here tonight, Yodson Klein, Cosmo Alexander, Julie Kitchen, Angie Parr, Rivera, Marco PK, Sean Wright, Slewinski and Quarteron. It is just stacked like a supermarket shelf here in Jamaica as Liam Harrison hobbles to centering and raises the hands of Anuat in a great show of sportsmanship. Well done, Anuat. And Liam Harrison, you are a warrior. He is a warrior, no doubt. Great fight from Anuat. This is just on a big comeback, Anuat. He has been on the way down a little for six months. He's frustrated. He's so frustrated. He's going to do a Monty Python there and go, come on, yeah, I'll fight you. I've still got one good leg. I've got one good arm. <laughs> So it is about to be made all official in centering. The strap will be affixed around the waist of Anuat. Another great victory for one of Thailand's all-time greatest. As we said, there's usually two names that are always thrown up as the best Muay Thai fighters in Thailand. Those two names are Anuat and Sanchai. And Anuat shows again tonight the iron hands of Siam actually have the iron shins the iron of Siam. Shin. Yep. The iron shin, Michael, it was uh, shins of steel and uh, just cut down Liam Harrison. When you can't walk, you can't, uh, you can't punch, can't kick. OK, let's go across to Richie and centering to make it all official. Good fight. Great spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tanong calls an end to the bout at 46 seconds of the third round due to a technical knockout. Your winner, 
in the red corner, Anuat. It is all official, Anuat, the 61 and a half kilo champion of the world, WMC. WMC. World title belt presented by and it looks like Seward, in center in Paul Lazenby is going to grab the champ in just a moment. Latin America. It is all official in centering as the paparazzi snap the photos of the world's champion Anuat just chopping out that lead leg of Liam Harrison. Harrison in a lot of pain could put no weight on that lead leg and Anuat sent him sliding back into the corner and basically crippled the hitman. Here's Paul Lazenby now with the world's champion. Anuat, you are one of the most credentialed Thai fighters in all of Thailand, but now you are wearing the WMC title around your waist. What does that mean to you? คุณอนุวัฒน์คะเขารู้ว่าคุณเป็นนักมวยที่มีชื่อเสียงมากในประเทศไทยแล้วตอนนี้มีเข็มขัด WMC World c h a m โลกอยู่ตรงเอลรู้สึกยังไงบ้างคะผมก็รู้สึกดีใจมากครับเพราะว่าเป็นเส้นที่11แล้วครับ He says, "Well, I feel pretty good because this is my 11th belt." <laughs> okay, this has got to be getting an old hat for you wearing championship gold. Uh, Michael Chavello mentioned you're known as Hands of Steel, but tonight you were more like Shins of Steel. Was it your game plan going in to utilize your kicks more and your punches less? เขารับรู้ว่าได้มีคุณมีฉายาว่าหมัดเหล็กแต่คืนนี้ดูเหมือนกับว่าคุณมีหน้าแข้งเหล็กอันนี้คือแผนของคุณไหมคะว่าว่าจะเข้ามาแล้วก็ใช้หน้าแข้งหน้าแข้งหน้าแข้งอะคือสไตล์ผมก็คือต่อยหมัดเด็กขาครับไม่มีลูกอื่นแล้วก็ต้องใช้สไตล์นี้อย่างเดียวครับนี่ก็ยี่ห้ออนุวัฒน์ครับ He said uh, well my style is uh, uh, we got I have the punch followed up with the kick so that's his style and that's what he's always stuck to so and that's the branding of Anuwat Ladies and gentlemen let's have a round of applause for your world champion Anuwat